Hello, this is Bob McClellan. In this screencast, I will show how to use Presentation Builder to create a new presentation document from slides in one or more existing presentation documents. In particular, I will demonstrate three common business needs that can be solved with Presentation Builder. I will be showing a very small amount of code in this example. Presentation Builder is a class from the Power Tools from OpenXML. It solves the composability problem that comes up often when working with OpenXML documents where you would like to take slides from one or more presentations and put them into a new presentation possibly in a different order as shown in this diagram. The problem is that these slides are not independent pieces in the or independent parts in the document. Instead they all relate to layouts and some of them refer to different layouts, some to the same layout, and then those layouts will refer to the master, and there could even be more than one master. But even when there's only one, the layouts often refer to images, often the same image, and the slides can also refer to images. And then on top of that, you can have references to audio parts, embedded objects, and external links. And all of these things need to be copied properly into the final presentation document. My first example is selecting slides out of a presentation that has multiple slides in it and we only want to include some of them in the final one. And this block of code here is opening up that source document and then selecting the slides that are desired, a title slide, one intro, a couple of bios, and content and close. So I can run this and look at the final output and see that I have just the slides I've selected. We can see that the final result has eight slides. If I look at the original that it came from, it has 14 slides and we've selected out even though they're in the same order it wouldn't have to be in the same order but in this case we have selected out the ones that we want of those to be included in the final presentation. In the next example I'm showing how you could take sort of a generically formatted content and format it to match a particular company for format or brand and look at the originals here. This is the content that we want to create and it, you can see it has no particular style formatting to it. And then the companies each have their own style or theme. And I'm going to, in this example, take one of those company slides and attach the content to it. So it's going to take one slide from the company source and then the rest of the content. And in this case, it's going to keep the master slide from the first slide so that that will then keep the theme in there. And so the result looks like this. We have the title company slide and then our content has picked up that formatting. And then the last example is uh, just simply putting together multiple presentations in total. Say if you wanted to make it easy to run the slides off one computer where there are multiple speakers, each bringing their own presentation. And so in this case, again, we're keeping the master slides for all of them, though. And the result is that each individual presentation retains its formatting and they're just essentially concatenated together. If you wanted to see the originals, they are just, they're being included in total, so they all look pretty much as you'd expect. And so that code is just including every slide out of the sources. That should give you a quick introduction to what Presentation Builder can do. I will be following up with some more technical detailed screencasts about the code and how it works. That will begin with a step-by-step -step of how to download 
and build the example that I've shown here. So that's all for now.